Hi guys, Louise here from Lucky Night Studio. Today I want to take you through how to transfer your blogs from one Squarespace website to another. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as a, a simple click, but I found a workaround to make it as simple as possible. So let's get started. Okay, to start the transfer, what we want to do is we want to go to settings on our old Squarespace blog, our old Squarespace website to get our blog. And then we've got import export. We're going to click that and we want to export out. There will only be the option of WordPress. If you have multiple blogs like this one does, then you get to select them here. We just want the blogs one and then you wait a little while and it should export it out into a WordPress format. You should then see that it's done the uh, export and we can download the file, which is now downloading. Then we, what we want to do is we want to go to create a new WordPress website. So it's wordpress.com and that will be a free WordPress site. You want to click get started and create a WordPress account. Once you've created your WordPress account, you'll now go on to create a WordPress website. So, and here we just want to accept all the defaults because we're not actually going to use this website. So choose the domain later. We'll just click that we want the free version. And here we're going to accept all the defaults. So kind of skipping through this, selecting the free template. We don't care about the styling and skip this one as well. And there we go. We're finally into the back of the WordPress website. So what we want to do here is we actually want to go to tools and import because we want to import our blogs and here we've got our Squarespace option so we click that one and then you just want to drag in your uh, file that you downloaded previously so it shouldn't take long and then you want to start the import and we're just going to wait for this one to, to finish. Okay once that's done um, it does take a little bit of time we then want to export those exact uh, blog posts so we want to click export all because there's nothing else on the website that we've just created other than the blog posts so we now have to wait for that to export and download. Once that's done we can click download and then we should have a zip folder which needs to be unzipped so that we can put it into our Squarespace site. So going back to the Squarespace site where you want the blog post to be imported, again we're going to go to settings and import export content and here we want to import our WordPress file. So while you can um, use the URL and uh, create your login to try and import the blogs that way, um, I find it doesn't work that well unfortunately. So um, exporting and then importing it back in generally works a lot better. So here we want to add the file that we have uh, unzipped from that zip folder that we got. Um, and I've just imported it, uploaded it. So there we go. And uh, you need to kind of wait till you see that it's actually been uploaded. And then we want to begin import. And again, we need to wait. Okay, once it has finished importing, you can now go back to your... Um, Squarespace website and if you go under website you will now see often it's um, unlinked ah here it is so this one it's um it's actually called its site title because I think that was the um, title of the WordPress website so it will be called that um, and because I didn't delete the hello world it's bought that one in as well so I can just quickly delete that um, so now all the blog posts are in here a couple of things to note is that you will probably need to go through um, and edit some of them because sometimes the images come in twice like on this one um, and anything like forms or uh, like forms or embedded YouTube videos that you might have had, it, uh, had in your old blog posts they need to be re kind of at linked back up again and something else to note as well which there isn't a workaround unfortunately without paying for a WordPress website is that you'll see the URL now has the date on there as well. So if you want the blog post to kind of match the same URL for SEO reasons, then you'll need to go through and just delete them like that. So unfortunately there isn't a way around them that I found so far. If you do know a way, please do let me know. And any questions you have, 
please um, add it in the comments. Thank you.